Welcome back to Mornings with Lou Ann and Tim. Laura Brown has come up from St. Ignace to visit me today. Hi, Laura. Hi. Thanks for being here. You are Thank the you. executive director of the St. Ignace Tourists Bureau? Visitors Bureau, Tourism Bureau. Oh, I Bureau. said Tourists yeah. Visitors. Yes. St. Ignace Visitors Bureau. Yes. yes. This is a re relatively new position for you? Yes, it is. How long have you been there now? Uh, about six months. So the great thing about this walking into a job like that is that St. there's so much to offer in St. Ignace. It's not yes. hard to do your job, I would imagine. There not always is something going on. Yes, easy place to sell. Now, I'll tell you this. I have to admit, I'm one of those people, so you're going to sell me on this now, because okay. I'm one of those people who in the past has just driven past St. Ignace to go over the Mackinac Bridge. You can slap my hand. <laughs> now, but, but what I, okay, but here's what I didn't know. For instance, I did not know in the summertime, if I wanted to go to Mackinac Island, I don't have to cross the Mackinac Bridge no. and go to Mackinac City to cr cross over. That's correct. I can just stay in St. Ignace and yeah. you have ferries from there. Yes, yes we do. It's much easier to cross from St. Ignace. It's faster. It's faster. It's. Um, I don't have to go over the bridge. You don't have to go over the bridge. The pay, lines. I don't have to pay for the bridge. The lines are shorter. It's a, it's I a just learned this. See, I never knew this. Yep. Good okay, place. so the other thing about St. Ignace is that you are so close to all kinds of other attractions as well. Yes. Some other outlying attractions. Yes, Name yes. some. Mystery spot. Okay, so right in our town we have the world famous mystery spot. We have That's right in St. Ignace? Yep. Okay. Yep. We have Castle Rock. We okay, have, yes. I've seen that. Yeah, yep, you drive by that. You do there. drive by that. Okay. Yeah, what yeah. else? Uh, we have the Deer Ranch. We have the Museum of Ojibwe Culture. We wow. have the Boardwalk. <sighs> okay, now that's the other thing about St. Ignace. You guys have waterfront like crazy you've got mm -hmm. hotels mm -hmm. with patios licensed patios yes. to, like, all along the whole waterfront yes yes See, i didn't know that either so now yeah. this is why i want to go to st ignace yeah. but that's summertime let's talk about winter because that's where okay. we're at right now right uh, i can see behind me that you've mm -hmm. got lots of outdoor sports going on yes. you're part of what's the trail called uh north country trail okay explain that to me what happens so, on the north country trail um that trail actually goes all the across the United States, but in St. Ignace, it goes along our boardwalk. You can snowshoe, you can ski, you can fat tire bike. So it's all non-motorized winter, winter skiing. Sports. Yeah, yes. winter sports along yeah, there. Yeah, hike, you can hike. Mm -hmm. I also saw something about some place where you guys have tubing and snowboarding. Yep, uh, Silver Mountain Hill, that's open on the weekends, and that is maybe four miles out of town, so you can stay at our hotels and, and you have take your kids there. We, what did we count? Do you remember how many hotels we counted? Was it 30 something? 35? Uh, we have 32. 32. And how many rooms? This is crazy. Oh, it's about 1,400 rooms. <laughs> so there's always accommodation. Oh, yes, yes. So And it's only 40 minutes away. See, right. that's something else that I don't even think about. It's so so quick to get there. So it's a short distance, but it, you're in a new place. If right. you're from Northern Ontario, it's right. like being on a vacation, yes. being away. Um, pools like, and the hotels. Their Super 8 has a pool. I never, like, <laughs> yes. who, where, is you, where do you find a Super 8 with a pool? St. Ignace. Yep. Uh, restaurants. Uh, we have a lot of restaurants that are open year round. Some are just open in the summer, but you can watch uh, the boats come in and out, the ferry boats, the sailboats. Um, there's a restaurant right next to our marina. Right. Um, uh, now, what we're going to be looking at, though, when we're down there in the wintertime is people playing hockey. Yes. yes. You're not even ready for this. The pond hockey tournament. Is it called a tournament? It's massive. Yep, it's the Labatt's Blue UP Pond Hockey Tournament. How many? This is I'm not. <laughs> how many teams participate, Laura? Well, this year we have 180 teams. <laughs> that kills me. 180 teams of people. Yes. Playing on outdoor on how many rinks do you build? Uh, 22 this year. We'll build 22 rinks right on Moran Bay. Right on the bay. Mm -hmm. Why don't? The, okay. And they come from all over the place. Yes, all over the country. Um, I hear you've had actually some people come from Canada, including some Greyhound players in the past. Yep, yes we have. And, not this year, but in the past, you've had a team from Czechoslovakia. That's correct, yes. Can you imagine this? 180 teams. This is a town of 3,000 people, and they're welcoming 180 hockey teams. Yes. But then you also have more fun. You, there's the hockey goes, how, 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 how many days is it? It's a four-day event on Thursday. It has to be four days to get all the teams <laughs> on the ice. Yeah, so uh, Thursday we have a meet and greet where the players will meet each other and people that are spectators can come and visit with the group. We're going to have a um, person by the name of Keith Gaves, and he is an author of the Russian Five, which is the famous book and documentary on the five Russians that came to the U.S. Uh -huh. 
uh, to play for the Red Wings. Whoa, cool. Mm -hmm. And he's going to be there as a speaker. Yeah, yeah and he'll be signing, signing his books. books. Yep. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. So that's Thursday. Friday, okay. we will register everyone and they'll start playing we in the should afternoon. Name dates, but Thursday, what? February the? 13th. Thursday, February the 13th yes. is the registration meet and greet. Yep. And, then and, and the gentleman is there. Keith is there to sign his books. Correct. Then Friday, what? Friday the 14th is when we'll start the play, and that'll go until it gets dark. And then we will have trolleys and vans transporting people all around town so no one has to drive anywhere. But that's And that's nice because mm -hmm. then you can really celebrate LeBlatt's Blues being yes. the sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but the, with the trolleys, this is also cool. They have trolleys. With hardwood floors and lanterns and stuff? Oh, yeah, they're very nice. Come on, this sounds so much fun. Okay, and the trolleys take you wherever you want to go? Wherever you want to go. To your hotel, to a restaurant, to a bar. Because it's Valentine's. Yep, Valentine's you Day. You want to go to St. Andrews for Valentine's, go watch pond hockey, and then go for dinner and have a hot tub and a jacuzzi. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's on Saturday? More, so more Saturday hockey. Saturday is all day hockey, hockey, and we will have a huge beer tent with Labatt's Blue and concessions and music and... M live music? Live music. Yeah, and okay. we'll have other games outside the tent. We'll have um, cornhole tournament, some big Jenga playing area. Giant Jenga. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. What's on Sunday? Sunday are the finals. Finals are, well, there's different divisions. So between 11 and 1 are the finals. Okay. How many, your husband made how many trophies? <laughs> this is kind of funny. Um, yeah, there are 23 divisions. So he is making 23 pond hockey trophies. <laughs> <laughs> Laura's husband works in another field, it, it, but he's become one of the chief volunteers yep. for the St. Ignace <laughs> Tourist Bureau, Visitors Bureau. Um, so you're going to be giving out all those awards at a ceremony between 11 and 1? Yes. And then we rest. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, everyone heads home. Okay, so it's, it's obviously, you must have all your teams already registered. Yes, we do. How far in advance, just for future reference, in case anybody's watching and thinks, hey, I want to play pond hockey and say, need this next year. Mm -hmm. When did the registrations open and how do people do that? Well, we usually open them a few months in advance. So okay. right around the holidays, Thanksgiving, they'll, you can Thanksgiving, American them. Thanksgiving, exactly. which is in November. November. Okay, yes. so November 2020, if you want to yeah. register for pond hockey in, in the, uh, the February of 2021, but in the meantime, just go down and watch. Like, it yes. must be great to spectate. Oh, it is. It's a lot of fun. It's okay, lot of fun. so, snowmobiles too. Let's talk about that, because mm -hmm. you can also cross the bridge, bring your snow machine. How many miles? We have 100 miles of groomed snowmobile trails. Okay, so we've got skiing, we've got tubing, we've got skating, we've got hockey, we've got restaurants, we've got trolleys, we've got the <laughs> bats blue, and yes. we've got <laughs> hotels, we've got all kinds of things in the outlying area. Yes. And then we've also got 100 miles of groomed snowmobile trails. Yes. What's not to love about St. Ignace? Uh, thanks for coming on the show. You're going to come you. back again because you've got other things coming up. There's something going on all the time in St. Ignace, whether it's in the winter, tons in the summer. Yes. But yes. you've got more winter events coming up. You're going to come back and visit me again and tell me about the, what's coming up in, uh, is it March then? Yes. We'll see you then. Okay, thank you. Laura Brown, St. Ignace, go visit. We'll be right back with Luann mm -hmm. after this.